So it's a game you're interested in. <laughs> I found something for you to dote on. All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome, ten new brews. Brew number seven coming up. Outlaws at Thunder Junction. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the buttons, do the things, watch it on YouTube, and support the content. If you like seeing more of it, if you like 10 New Brews, here we are, right? Did our full set review. Bronze, I think, is next week. 10 New Brews is right now. And we're going to count it again. Plus, on Bustle Encounters, we've got some really, really cool new cards here. My favorite of which is Nurturing Pixie. This is a one mana, one month flyer. When it ETBs, you can return a target non fairy, non land permanent card to your hand. If you return a permanent this way, put a counter on Pixie. So we have a 2 2 flyer with a counter. Very important in this deck, obviously. Uh, and all you gotta do is bounce things to reset them, right? So what are you gonna reset? How about resetting a C Note Scout? Get more explorers, right? How about resetting a Knight Errant of Eos? Plays off Beast Caller also because you're playing more creatures, which is great. And uh, we got a plus and plus one counter theme here. A couple other cards we set to care about counters too. Uh, you know, Beast Caller, Brawl, we know all these cards. The Ozzel is, is a big card, too. We got Lost Jite. It's not quite Umazawa's Jite. Uh, but I think this card is, like, pretty cool if you're a deck that cares about, about counters. Uh, it adds counters to things, untaps, lands, can make, makes this crimes also. Cheap, it's an artifact, it's pretty efficient. And uh, I'm curious to see how it plays out. Also got Bristly Bill here, Landfall, put counters over the place. And we also got our Ornery Tumblewag. I saddle up and Saddle up, folks. You gotta sit on that thing. And uh, this puts counters every turn. It can also double counters as well. Soul Cauldron also is there to uh, do some counter stuff as well as some Graveyard Hate. And uh, that's the deck. So, um, that's what we got. So, let's go out get rid of the games. Uh, brought to you by... What is up, my friends? Welcome. Today's video is brought to you by AFK Journey, a new action auto battler game for PC. Also on mobile with the sponsor promotion is for PC. Beautiful, crisp graphics and polish. Seriously, the game has a great feel to it, honestly. Everything just feels nice and polished and good to go. All the usual cool adventure stuff, getting in loot, recruiting new characters, but the combat system is awesome. Much more strategy than you would think. Uh, you set your team, your synergies, and you literally place your units on the board. Uh, all the boards are different, so there's different, you know, different opponents and different combat sizing up and so on and so forth. So you gotta size your board, put it all the right way, and then let it fly. Free to play with unique leveling system where you can hot swap your characters and not waste time leveling up, a, leveling up a mediocre character. So when you get a new character, you can swap them right in, and they're the same level as your old character, which is great. What we have here is a win-win scenario, folks. You get to support me monetarily as a content creator. We're also trying a new game for free. Download it now for the PC. The link's in the description. Give it a spin. Residence level 20, Residence level 40, Recruiting Rowan, and Classic Gazette Purchase. All four of those things support me monetarily. So download the game, give it a try. Love y'all. All right, so the hand's kind of bad. Chat kind of hand me, but we have turn two Ozolith. I don't think you can ever all again turn two Ozolith. Like it's by far the best card in the deck by like a lot. So we're gonna keep it and uh, try and make it work. Got our tumble wag going. Playing its old Kibler. A lot of possible choices for ways to build this deck. I spent probably the longest on this deck of all the brews. Uh, at first, it was a, a a wormlet deck with some artifacts in it. Uh, and then it was other stuff. We had some, some hopeful issues in there for a while also, but just ended up doing, a doing it like this. So a lot of options. It wasn't really enough artifact stuff, I don't think. And all the new cards aren't artifacts either. So that kind of hurt too. So Kellen Daring Traveler. Love this card. I think it's, I think it's underplayed and quite good. Uh, we're going to Ozolith again, you know, turn two Ozolith on the draw with no one drop. It's a little rough, but we'll figure it out. Get our ornery on. Obviously, Knight Errant, probably the worst draw in our deck with no creatures. Uh, but, you know, is what it is. Get our tumble wag on. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, YouTube, YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, support the content. Obviously, here's still Seraph. And, uh, yeah, a little lifelink. Possibly draw a card. Nope, just a land. So, bin the land. In for a hit. We draw another Knight Errant. All right, so... <sighs> Obviously, pretty ridiculous draws here uh, for a hand that only wanted creatures who draw on land. Five drop, five drop. Uh, but still, we'll make it work. Play this thing, add a counter. It's actually two counters. So there you go. Play another wag. We can, we, can, we can crew here too. So when you saddle this thing, it doubles the number of counters on a creature. Inspector. And a collector's cage. New card, two mana hideaway, five. Puts counters on things, and if you control creatures of three different power, you get to cast it for free. 
That's pretty sick, actually. We got like a mirror match here. So Kibbs is also playing the Ozolith, and they're unfortunately Kibbs draws much better than mine. Uh, but this card's interesting. Um, I didn't think it was that good, honestly. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but. Archangel Elspeth? Sure. We're obviously getting browned here on the draw, though, with our terrible hands, so it's hard to really quantify. This is ridiculous. All right. Um, yeah, we're just dead. We just draw lands, but they can give things fly. Yeah, we're just dead, but um, pretty annoying game, honestly. Pretty frustrating. Uh, start, but it's fine. We're going to do this. I guess we can... Uh, is, what is this? Crew... I should have... I screwed up. I should have crewed it. They'll just block anyway, but I could have had a huge creature. Yeah, whatever. This is fine. All right, so pump, pump, attack for six. I have a blocker here. This can pump stuff too, but like, here we're just dead. Like, in the you know, neither player has any interaction. Draw. Yeah, they're just gonna Elspeth jump. Put three counters. Give flying here, flying there. We're dead, right? So it's one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. They were actually dead, but I guess they gotta be aware of them dying on the backswing too, but. Kellen is now a flyer. Can give it vigilance too, I suppose. No, flying and lifelink. That works too, I guess. Alright, so only one blocker. If I draw a uh, a removal spell, are they dead? If I draw a get lost. How about, how about the third Ocelith? How about that instead? So just about like the worst possible draw you could have. I, I couldn't imagine a worse draw than this. Um, so. We got nothing. Can I cycle for our rule spell, maybe? Still not enough, right? Yeah, even then, we kill a thing. We pump twice. It's still not good enough. Yeah, ob obviously a pretty tough game. What, what are you going to do? They're not, They're all going to work out for you. And uh, that was one that didn't, unfortunately. So, yeah, pretty awful draw. All right, let's try that one again, right? So, uh, it sounds a lot better. We can keep this. We got the Brawler. So we got Beast Caller and a Brawler, which is fantastic. We got the uh, Ornery guy, too, and we're on the play, so... Tron is bad, it's been called. Got a mulligan for our opponent here. Yeah. Alright, so we have Beast Caller, Double Brawler. Um might be Tumblewag into Double Brawler. We'll see what we draw. I'll see what see what they're gonna kill here too. Brawler's obviously really cool together. Cool card. There's a lot of cool cards that you just like forget or in the format, uh, but Aww. right card. He's out. He's done. Up oh, there he is. Bones of a tank. Slap some bacon on a biscuit. <laughs> now he's go. gone. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Virtue down the beast car. That's fine. And we draw a tumble wag. So I guess we want to wag first, right? Try to be more mana efficient. So we draw a land. It can go uh, Brawler, Brawler, which would be awesome. Field of Ruin and Tiny Bones. I'm back on the streets with all my criminal buddies. Diabolic Intent. Uh, okay. That is, uh, that's something. Peace Caller. God. All right, whatever. All right, so we're going to uh, saddle up. She blinds everybody with a super high beam. She's a squirrel squasher deer smacker. And I guess we're just going to go all the way here. Because we're going to double the counters regardless. So attack with this. Attack for eight. Say go. Obviously all eggs in one basket. But whatever. It's fine. You know. Shieldred? That's all you got? Still can't draw land. Um... We're just going to trade Tumblewag for Shielder. We'll put Counter Counter on this thing, and we'll double the counters on this. This card's pretty good. I didn't think the double the double, the double counter thing would come, would come up that much. Uh, but let's play a Brawler. I guess we'll crew with the Brawler. And then we get to Combat. So this is going to double 6, 12. It's 14 exactly. So Counter here. Counter here. Add a Counter. Attack with these. Double the counters on this. They have to trade. This goes up again. Saddle's pretty good. Yeah. I'm impressed. Saddle up, partner. 
Uh, so there you go. Here's Blood Letter of Alpha. So the problem with this card is that there's a, a two-shot a two combo with this card. There's a five-mana sorcery that gives a player half their life. So that would kill... That, this is a two-shot kill. Uh, but that being said, we're going to kill them, I think. So, missed that land again, as far as untapped lands go. But we can Brawler and Crew and then do that. They are in the Abyss. They have to block no matter what. So add a counter, add a counter. Crew this thing. Um... And we're going to double the counters on. This is 6-6. Six, six. Doesn't actually matter, right? Let's do this. Double counters here. So they go to 4. We say go. Yeah, the Blood Letter combo does not look super good today. I double the counters on the Brawler. Oh, it's Trample. I didn't realize that a Trample. What? Well, it doesn't actually matter, I don't think. So, it's got Trample. Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to New Bruce. Works for me. All right. So, two somewhat uneventful games. Hopefully, we get a few more interesting ones. Trample creatures have this like little aura around them. It's always been there. All right, so you got Pixie, Apprentice, Warden, Brawler. You got a Mulligan here. We're going to keep this. That's pretty great, actually. We can go Warden into Brawler, into, like, Apprentice, maybe Pixie, bounce some stuff. No Allenbach Escorts here. Take the one off the desert. You saying you want to commit a crime, Homer? Warden is not as good as it is as far as tapping things in this deck. Uh, but it is sweet at uh, wearing counters and adding counters. There's an Ozolith. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So now we're online big time. Uh, let's attack for one, play Ozolith, and say go. And we got everything happening now. Ozolith it up. Now you can go Brawler, Iron Apprentice. Add which counters everywhere. Tap and make the Warden bigger. All right, sure. Looks like a pretty good draft deck. Um, play land, we draw forest. Uh, yeah, so play brawler, play apprentice, add some counters, do it again. Beast caller, awesome. It sucks that we're having our like best possible draw against the what looks to be a draft deck, but you know. Sure. Like we're we are popping off this game. <laughs> like we're gonna be scholar, nurturing pixie, bounce the apprentice, play the apprentice, pump everything up, like just go bananas. Our draw is so good. Badlands revival. Sure. Yeah. I mean let's see. So we're gonna go be scholar. Pump it up. We want to tap these three, add a counter, bin this, play Pixie, double counter on Crawler, counter here, bounce the Apprentice, counter here, add a thing, play the Apprentice, add a counter, add a counter, add the thing. Yeah, I mean, definitely, uh, this is our turn four of this game. We would have preferred to have this draw, uh, it gets where they win with the other games, but that's all right. We're doing it. I mean, post combat, pump it up. Uh, sure. And say go. Old honest rusting. Sure. Alright, uh... Okay. Sure. Hello, everybody. It's Seth. Alright, so we got a decent hand. Uh, two lands is a little light, but... We got a cottage. We got beast callers for days. We can hold our pixie, obviously. Want to draw a third land really bad. I'm getting batted here. It's rude. Deep cavern bat's still good. 
Wave goodbye to our get lost to draw a prairie. All right, so we're gonna beast caller. Cards like beast caller are the reason why uh, Pixie has this text on it where, where it can't, can't balance itself. Otherwise, you can just keep playing it over and over again, triggering stuff. What is, is I'm sorry, is this Sapphire Owl from MTG Goldfish, noted brewmaster and meme gamer, just playing Golgari in the freaking thing? What what's going on here? You ain't nothing but a petty heartbreaker. Is this a cry for help, Seth? Is it? Uh this it cannot it can't bounce lands either. So it's not like a uh, talk and artifact lands. Phyrexian Obliterator, sure. What what new cards would make you inclined to play Phyrexian Obliterator? Is there like is there like a new something new or? All right, so we gotta kill this obviously in case there's some sort of like stupid thing going on. Um, just like a Fight Club deck or whatever. I guess I just need to kill it now. Yeah, whatever, sure. Let's just kill it now. Just whatever. Play Get Lost. Kill this thing. No fight clubs here. Add some counters. Make some beats. Then we got tumble wags. Again, we're a little stuck on mana here because, like, we got some threes. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Saffron all about the stones here, folks, I guess. All right. Well... That's that. You win. You got me. I got a 4-5. Four, 4-5 five. Four, five and a dream. Alright, I guess. Pretty good draw, right? Because it has double obliterator and the thing and the curve. What are you going to do? Alright, good game. Alright. Looking for a good competitive game here, and uh, this hand's pretty good. I'm going to just hold the scout for turn three, so I can go Ozoloth into Beast Caller Scout. Love that. Here we go. The Shattered Spire. Case of the Stash Skeleton. Sure, we're playing Skeletons later. And now we're going to go Beast Caller into Scout. Counter, 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 explore. Land is great here, honestly. I'm very happy with the land, so. We're playing this card later too, folks. We, I think this card is one of the, if you're looking for like most improved new cards, this one might win the award. Uh, there are a lot of good skeletons in the set. All right, so if we tumble wag, we can't actually knight errant either. Ugh. All right, so we're gonna knight errant, I guess, and just see what we can draw. Uh, we have a lot of two drops, so I think I want to tap both creatures. Or I can just tumble wag, I guess. Uh, this thing can't block. This thing can, obviously. Um, yeah, that's a call. We can Knight Errant, try and set it for next turn. I'm going to play this thing. It's just better to play the, this thing later. So add a counter. Add some more counters. We'll go to combat. And this would be a 3-3, three, three, which is not a particularly good stat line on this board. I'm going to go here. Just going to attack for a million. Attack for eight. Just going in. Boom. as a punch. Here comes the Menaced Skeleton. And then you got Conviction it away. That's pretty cool. Turns on your little case here. That's cute. All right. Time for a crime spree. Destroy target non-outlaw. Assemble the mercenaries. Okay. Uh, try and put the counters here. Oh, it's any number? Wow, I didn't know that. Uh... But most of them here, obviously, because this is a more important creature. So, this would be a seven-seven. This would be, eh, let's do one more. We'll have a six-six and a five-five. Got a cut down here too. Unfortunate. 
The case works. The case, the solve condition is controlling suspected skeletons. So, it is solved. We draw Lost Gta. Fortunately, our Knight Errant is, uh, is really being terrible for us here. I'm gonna cycle this and start there. Draw a Alright, so. Now I can't activate Ozolith, but. Alright, equip here. Add a thing. Attack for seven. Lost GTA gets a counter. Just gonna hold it, I think, and say go. They're at five. Can't untap land an Ozolith, but like that's almost that's the exact same thing as just adding a counter with the GTA, so. And I could save GTA for this thing and add a counter here. Oh! Flashy Blue giving subs. Thanks, Flashy Blue, you're great. Let's hear Flashy Blue. Mish Foundry five, four cards in hand. Got a demonic tutor off this case. Probably kill my bushwag too. That sucks. Can't believe we just draw no creatures. Like our our night hour just been so bad. Deck's just like all bad creatures, you know. It's like my favorite kind of deck. All bad creatures and night errant to Vios. Like what more could you possibly want, right? So GJ falls to the ground. Take three. And they have descended. Not gonna bounce it though. And then in our draw step. Well, folks, you know what we're doing here. We're playing a freaking 4-4. There you go. The worst knight errant of all time. Look at look at all these crappy creatures. Still a piece of garbage. What, where were where where are they? Where were they when the when the when the white wall fell or whatever? Where is Gondor, huh? Here's Geese of the Hellraiser. No crime yet. Oh, no crime. Thank God. Oh boy, I needed that one. All right, we got to show up. Show down here. Nurturing Pixie. That's kind of sweet. Um, we can like bounce the Ozolith. We can bounce. We can like add a counter, bounce the Ozolith, add another counter. I have this thing too, but it's not really, you don't really get to use yet, so let's do this thing. It's funny, if I bounce this, I don't get the actual Ozolith bump, bump but that's fine. They cut down anyway. Oh no, it's a crime! I gave them a crime target. What was I thinking? Oh, alright, sure. Damn crimes. That's brutal. That is brutal. Alright. We gotta attack, I think. We have an 8-8. It's like they chump block with the skeleton. Or they, they're gonna double block, actually. Alright, so... Alright, I'm gonna add the counter, I guess. Or use the counter. So... Kill those things. They obviously got their crime off it, which is uh, that sucks so much. We just gave them the crime. All right. I mean, we can draw a creature. We we have the prairie in play also. So they have a second Gisa. They got a they got, they got a morph. Oh, it's a, it's the freaking hunt the bone horde thing. I think it's cards really bad. Unfortunately, I've tried it before in like a skeleton deck, and like it's very clunky and bad. You just can't cast it. It's good here, obviously, but all right. Gonna leave back both zombies. Get in for seven points of damage. We draw another Ocelot. Somebody's playing a prank on me. <laughs> uh, all right. I mean, we take three if we again show this. You're killing me, Smalls. Warden. Warden. Warden's close. Um. I 
can a Ganjo, though, and this thing is the 7 to me with Menace. I guess I can a Ganjo, but alright, so... Let's see if I can sniff out the Aganjo or not. We're just, like, pretty dead here, but... Oh, my God! Alright. Yeah, maybe it's, like, just bad. I don't tell you. <laughs> oh, my... I, I got nothing. Um, It'd be best if you turn tail and run. Maybe. Alright, so, yeah. I, I mean... I feel like our draws were kind of bad, but we lost a lot, too, and only beat a draft deck, so I don't know if... I... <laughs> You know, results gotta be gotta be uh, gotta be true at some point. I mean, I don't know. Definitely not the best draws of all time. We drew we drew we drew both of these in multiple like like. Look how clunky our draws were. There are five cards in a deck that cost more than two, and we drew like an average of four a game. It feels like you know. So I, I don't know. Obviously, some small sample size. Deck look cool, but what are you gonna do? All right. So um, yeah, that's the that's the deck. All right, more more, more brews coming up. They can't all be winners. And uh, you two folks, love you, like, comment, subscribe, you're all great. Peace.